Welcome all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me, this is Julie1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. And in this video, I am going to answer the question, what does it take for me as a new player in ARK to get a trike? I mean, they're big. They got pointy things on the end of them. They do a lot of damage. I'd love to have one, and I'm just, you know, not that far along in levels, and it's hard. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you how to build a trap really fast, really easy, and with minimal resources. And you'll get you a track. It won't take you long at all. Yeah! So let's get this thing built. Let's go down here. If you're not familiar with this area, you just bought the game, this is the island. This is probably where you'll spawn. Good odds that this is probably where you'll be. It is, if you look at the map, we call it Sock Puppet Island because it kind of looks like a sock puppet <laughs> with the little mouth where I'm standing and the eyeball. And anyway, so that's where I'm at. And there tends to be lots of trikes to come up and down this beach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our trap where the trikes hang out. Let's go down here just a little bit further and see if there's one out here today, just in case. But there's one way over there. And it looks like we've got some nice volunteer right here. Now you wanna have a place that's kind of flat. And this is not the best place, but that's okay. Cause right over here, there's a flat place. All right, so here we go. We got a nice flat place and we're just gonna start plopping down pillars. So you wanna go one here. Now, once you start putting one down, it will give you snap points for the other one. One over. Like that, and then All right, pick this one up. Now, nope. let's see, there's there's a couple of snap points here. That one, when you can't get through, so you want to leave yourself enough room to get out of the trap once you get this guy in here. Three, we so got four across that way. Across that way. Okay, now we're gonna take our dino gates. And you can put another pillar if you want to. Let's do that. Stay with some resources. Put these two high, and you'll probably be better off than just the one high. Depends on what you're trying to catch. The trike is not gonna do jumping, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And let's put us a gate in here. I'm gonna put it right there. And we'll put in a door. Okay. So there's our trap. We got pillars, not hard to come by. We've got a door that we can get in and out of. Thing is cool. Now the only trick is getting him in here. So let's go up here. All right. So we have a bow. We have some trank arrows, which you know you can knock a trike out with slingshots. You might want to have a bunch of them and a bunch of rocks, but you know, it doesn't take that many levels to get to the trank arrows and you really need to get that for most taming anyway. So we're going to start with that. Now I just need to get his attention right here. So I'm not trying to knock him out. I just want to make him mad at me. Yep. That did it. Now here he comes. He's going to be coming right through here. Line him up so he'll get in the door. That's where you want him coming. Come on. Oh, he's really good. Oh, no. Come on. Over here. Over here, son. Over here, son. Over here, son. Over here, son. Because you don't want him getting aggroed on your trap. Because that's just bad. Um, okay, so he's in a trap. He's mad. I'm just going to close the door real quick. And he's doing some damage. But he's not going to do enough damage to break those wooden pillars before we can get him knocked out. Now remember with the trikes, you don't want to hit them in the head because they got all that bony stuff up there and they're not going to give a bit of a hit. So you want to be uh, shooting them in the buttocks, or the legs, somewhere with the fleshy parts. down get a few measure berries pop them in there and you've got yourself a trike and there we go nice easy 
safe way to get yourself a trike. Like I said, you can use slingshots, but it's just going to take you a while, and you're probably going to have to repair or have several slingshots and a bunch of rocks to knock them out, depending on the level. But the reality is, when you look at how much damage he did to these pillars, not a heck of a lot. Right? I mean, one wood, one thatch, one fiber. Basically, that's all the damage he did. So even though they're made out of wood, these pillars take a lot of damage. You don't have to build a ramp. You don't have to build foundations or any of that kind of stuff. You just put this together. The most expensive part is the gates. And that'll run you a little bit of wood is probably the most. Let's see. Let's go. Let's look at our, our, our engrams here. So when you're looking at, you can get the slingshot at level five. I would not suggest trying to go into a wooden club. You get your bow and arrow at 10 and you get your pillars at 12. So you put your pillars in and I've got modded stuff in here. So, you know, don't, don't go by what I've got available to me, but the wooden pillars are the vanilla and I've used vanilla assets to make this trap and your crank arrows are available at level 21. So you don't have to get all the way up to the crank arrows. You can get them in there and knock them out with a slingshot and you should be okay you know where's the saddle saddle for a trike is at level there 16. so just to get the saddle you got to get to 16. by then you're going to have the pillars so easy enough to do that so the good thing about this trap is if you want to really in the mood to be adventurous this guy will follow me on out now come on get him out of the way if you wanted to you can catch a sarco in here not a bad team to have early in the game right you won't be able to make the saddle for him but all you need to do is raise it up a little bit because the sarco can get a little bit boisterous in here so i'm going to go up more and we're going to get some resources and fix this thing just just to be give it the um best chance at making sure that we don't get ourselves in trouble. All right, let's fix this thing up here. Okay. So we're all healed up. And now what we'll do is we'll spawn in us a Sarko down here. Just let me give it, let, let me have a run and start. Okay. Let's, let's be, let's be sporting about this. All right, so let's just summon in a Sarko, and we'll give ourselves a little bit of a running start, but let's see what happens here. Oh, there he is, and we're off. Now, Sarkos go really, really fast in the water. They're not as fast on land. So I would suggest, and in fact, they spawn over here pretty regularly, at least over on that side. So you should be able to get one without actually having to go into the swamp. Just run, like I said, you want to kite him straight into the trap. Put these all the way in here, and then once he's in there, run around and close the door. All right. Damn. He's yours. It's that simple. He's not going to get out. Not going anywhere. Just knock him out. And you would think, you know, would pillars might be a bad idea because he can break through them and, and Sarkos can tear through wood, but he can't do any damage, see? He can get mad, but that's okay. Because he's out. He's dead. Oh no, no, he's still, he's still awake. There he goes. Now he's out. All right, so let's see. He's going to need some meat. I've got some prime meat on me. You don't have prime meat. You can use regular meat. We're just going to drop that on him and let him tame up. It's going to take about a few bites. He's only a level 20, so not a very big one. Here we go. That's a Sarko. Not bad. Now let's look at the pillars again. One, one, one. Repair. I mean, there's, there's no reason to wait till you can get to stone and be able to put this trap together. You can get to wood. You can get your Sarko. You can get your trike. You can pretty much get any middle-sized dino. A Spino or a Rex is not going to fit through that gateway. 
and they will tear this thing apart. But up to a probably an Allosaurus, you can get in here and pretty much get you some high level early game tames. You won't be able to get the saddles till later in the game, but you know, having one of these guys around your abode and just having him hang out. Yeah, that'll protect your base. So I'm thinking this will work for an Allo. Let's try it. Cause why not? You know, we're here, we have the trap here. Let's fix it real quick. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be <laughs> good thing. I'm, I'm in creative mode. I'm gonna be in creative mode through this cause you know, I gotta spawn them pretty much where I'm at. So they are gonna eat me up as soon as I get them in here. But let's, let's, let's see what happens. If we get a, can we get an Allosaurus in here? I'm betting we can, I think we can do it. The biggest problem with the Allosaurus is is going to be that usually you see those in packs of at least three. So having one out here by itself is probably going to be hard to find, but you know, wouldn't be bad to have three, get them all in there, knock them all out. You just need to have plenty of arrows when you do it. All right, here we go. This is a test. Poor little Hesperonis. You are going to die. I'm telling you, I know that's going to happen. Oh, he's mad. Yep, he's mad. And he's coming. Okay, here we go. Here we go. He's coming. Alright, here he goes. He in there? He's in there. He can't get out. Okay. If I stay here and shoot at him, he will probably just stay aggroed at me. But I need to get his gate closed. So what I don't want to have happen is have him get out. All right, so let's get some arrows in him before he busts through here. Got a pretty long reach, so I don't want to get too close to the trap, but I think I, think I can get him knocked out. Working on that one pillar, that's for sure. Cool colors. Yeah, he's running. <laughs> oh, my bow broke. Come, come prepared with extra bows. Down. And he's nice and asleep. And we're gonna quit the rest of this prime meat that we have for his inventory. And there you go. Put that on him, and he should tame up. Now let's look at the damage on this. Five. This is the one he was really wailing on. And still, it's not even halfway damaged. So he wasn't getting out of here. So I, what I would tell you on this is. This trap will capture pretty much anything up to the size of an Allosaurus. And it's simple and it doesn't take up much material and you can abandon it when you're done. We're going to fix this real quick because I'm going to try one more experiment. And that is to see if a UD will fit in here. Because if a UD will fit, I don't know the UD will fit it through the door. And there we go. We got us an Allosaurus. So once again, Get up to level 12 and you can put the small, the pillars in place. Get up to level 21. So you have the arrows and you can catch pretty much anything in this trap. The only thing that you're not going to be able to get is animals like raptors and things like that. I do have a raptor trap vid posted. I'll leave a link up the top, right? You can go to see that. Uh, they can get through these gap here in the, in the fence. If you put it at the first click point, they really can't get through there, but then it makes it that much harder to shoot through it. So, you know, pick your poisons. All right, so last experiment here. I don't know that the UD will fit through the door. So I'm not gonna promise that we'll get the UD. We'll find out. So again, I wanna make sure I got a run and start. But I don't wanna have too much of a run and start. So we're gonna put him right up here. Let's make it daytime. 
you know, so y'all can see. All right, let's let the festivities begin. I don't know how this one's going to work. We will find out in just a sec. All right, we ready? I think I'm ready. I think it's as ready as I'm going to get. Run, run, run. I don't know if he's going to fit through the door. I don't know. I really don't. I really don't expect he's going to fit through the door. Oh, he's through. He's... Oh, no, 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 guys. Come on. No, no, no. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, so let's let's see what happens if I can get over here and close this door. Okay, he's doing some damage. Come on, dude, you're you're in my shot. All right, stop. You stop. Now let's see if we can't knock this guy out. He's he's working on that thing bad. I don't know if my bow's gonna make it. If you don't have the app Dodo Dex on your phone, you're doing hard wrong. That will tell you exactly how many arrows it'll take to knock out the thing that you're trying to knock out, depending on what it is and what the levels are and what your taming rates are. So I highly suggest if you have not ever downloaded Dodo Dex, do it, try it out. It's free. I'll leave a link in the description just so you have it and, and try it out because it really helps with um, getting started in art. If you, like I said, if you're not, if you don't have it, then you're missing out because it really does give you a lot of information about all the dinos and what they do and what they will fit through and what they won't fit through, what they'll destroy and what they won't destroy. Every bit of me expect this guy to break out of here. But we'll see. Bo's, Bo's not got long. It's gonna break. Yep, there it goes. I would bring extra bows if this is what you're gonna do. Of course, if you were doing it with a crossbow, it would be better. I really wasn't planning on doing this, but he, he's not getting out, so that's a good thing. He hasn't broken out yet, and I think we're gonna get him. I wouldn't have bet on it, but I think we're gonna get him. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, wow. This this is a surprise. Look at the damage on this thing. He's not even half damaged on these um, pillars. So this is an incredibly efficient trap for even a UD. And it's cheap. So let's go over here to our Allosaurus, get the rest of our prime meat off of him. We'll tame up this UD and uh, be a force to be reckoned with. I don't expect a person at level 20 or whatever to be in the cold regions where the UDs are, but I'm just telling you, you it doesn't matter what level you are, you're always looking to make sure you maximize your resources. And here's a way that you can put a trap up where you've got UDs around and not spend a lot of money. You just hide them in here. Pretty simple. All right, we're gonna get him tamed up and we're gonna have a crew. Look at this, we got some you. We have better colors, but yeah, you get what you get when you spawn stuff in. But I'm put together this video so you can see that at a low level, you can capture pretty large critters. If he'll fit through a double doorway or a single doorway, this will not work. You're gonna need to put them a lot closer. All right, well, that's gonna conclude our trap tutorial. So you can use this trap to capture a lot of different critters with minimal resources. Give it a shot. Especially if you're new to Ark and you're just trying to get started and, you know, you're trying to use the stone to build your own house and you're using, you know, whatever resources you can out in the wilderness to build a trap where you find the dinos. This is an easy one to do. It's just wood, thatch, and fiber. And you got it. Just build it like I've put out here in this video and you can catch up to the size of a UD. Proof that it works. All right. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Helps me out with all the YouTuberisms. And hey, if you've never joined Old Gamers Never Die, give it a thought. Reach down there. Hit that big red rectangle and become one of the OGs. It's it's a lot of fun. We have our Discord going. We've got a lot of folks in there playing different games. And we've got some ARC servers up. You can find us details on there in the Discord. Come on out. Play with us. It doesn't cost you anything to play. And who knows what we might be doing next. We've got a big event coming up in September. That'll be a lot of fun. So... Thank you so much for coming out, and I hope this video helps you out in starting off your ARC adventure. Enjoy yourself. I know I've had a lot of fun playing this game, but for now, this is Yuli signing out.